During our today's class, I'm gonna teach you how to paint lovely pumpkin with different botanicals in watercolor style. And that's so simple. And I know that now is Inktober, so I'm gonna add some ink stamps to our painting. I hope you will like that. So guys, if you're ready, grab your iPad, Apple Pencil, and let's paint together. So for today's class, I'm gonna use one of my newly created brush set, which is called Advanced Set of Uniques, and I'm gonna use the watercolor paper that I created for this brush set. So let's tap Advanced Set of Unique. Here we have our paper, you might see it here. And I need to paint on a layer that is underneath our paper layer groups. That's very important because if you paint on the top, of these paper layer groups, so you will not get this authentic watercolor look. Ta -da! We already have the sketch, I'll make it slightly smaller, because later I want to add some shades, so it will be like that. And I need to paint underneath our sketch and layer group. So let's get started, and first of all guys, we have some options. Uh, and through these options we can choose the brush that we like most. So I'm gonna use blue basic brush first. Some orange color, like this. Let's get started. I like this edgy texture, that's why I use this brush. But we're gonna mix it with another brushes. So I will lower the opacity of our sketch and layer even more. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to another brush, which is called Blue Noise Brush from Blender. This brush you see has this pretty cool uh, authentic effect where you have a little bit of color and at the same time it keeps this if you press harder you will have more color like this so control the size and opacity okay i'm pretty fine with that and we're gonna use the same brush blue noise brush and blender as a blender as you know and control the size of the brush because now i want to remove the edges. This set is pretty artistic, so it doesn't have the basic brushes. Uh, this is for mostly those people who is pretty confident using watercolor and who likes to add some artistic feeling to their painting. It can help you to get this authentic and like artistic touch to your watercolor. Okay, like this, we've done with the first pumpkin. Now let's move to the second one, that one. And this pumpkin is slightly pale. I'm gonna use the same brush. And you might leave some white gaps. It looks beautiful. done with second pumpkin. Now you see we have like the tip of pumpkin. Uh, it's got some kind of root if I'm not mistaken. So I will go even to darker shade and I will create one more layer because probably later I want to change the color. Same here. Next thing, guys, if you want to make it more saturated, you can just duplicate the layer and it became more saturated. Same as this painting, I like how it looks, so I'm gonna merge together two layers. And I will create one more layer underneath and I will grab reddish color. And I will grab blue basic brush. Once again, I leave some gaps for another brush. Uh, you have an, an option, you might just paint one piece of these plants and after that uh, just duplicate it 
and paste it. But I like to make all kinds of botanicals unique, so in this way you just need to paint like one by one. And blend into more. Control the size and be careful. Don't lose its watercolor texture. So now let's keep painting and now I think it's time to add some colors to this part of botanicals. I'm gonna stay on same level, same layer, same brush and here we have also this kind of plants. I will grab dark orange color and I want to show shade here and in this area. Here we have some parts of haze. Okay, let's keep painting and I'm gonna grab a basic brush and I will grab green color. So I want to paint leaves first. to our previous layer and grab this reddish color and next thing what we will do we will just remove the transparency because as you might see some of our in some parts we have overlappings and we need to remove them slightly bluish. You have some kind of flowers. Now let's go and grab slightly, let's grab blue dry brush and I want to show uh, the branch. sharp scrub and I'm gonna go and add some hay draw the size so the next thing is we need to remove the transparency like I told you we will return to this layer duplicate it and it looks very beautiful so I'm gonna keep it like this pretty bright duplicate that layer as well merge together Duplicate the layer with our botanicals, go to lower layer, tap adjustment, use saturation and brightness, increase the brightness to maximum, duplicate this layer two times and merge that together. Okay, it looks beautiful. Now we want to add some shades and it's pretty simple. So how to do it? I'm gonna create one more layer on the top of everything and I'll grab blue sharp scrub. And after that, I will move to multiply blend layer mode. It's very important. And now let's start adding some kind of shades. We will show some shade from the leaves. After that, grab blending tool increase the size and blend some sharp lines. I like the scrub feeling because it creates pretty authentic realistic touch. Like that. Now let's do the same with this pumpkin. 
Now let's add shades to this pumpkin as well. Remember, this color palette is not set uh, by brand. Here you have pretty pale colors. You might add a use selection tool and after use hue saturation and brightness, but actually I'm a big fan to like of painting in traditional style. So my aim here is to try to reach this authentic watercolor look. That's why I'm trying to use the same method that if I if I paint in traditional way, I would use like the same options. That's why once again, this is my option how to paint those lovely uh, pumpkins. Now let's move to this part. And for this layer, I will go and create one more layer on the top, move to multiply and clip it. That means that I can paint just on our selected area and I can't go beyond the lines you see here. So I just want to add some colors to edges. Do same here. And I just want to add some kind of shades. these parts together, pumpkin, clip it, move to multiply blend in layer mode like what we did before. I want some shades, to add some shades here in this area, some shades here. Actually guys you might spend hours like adding all those details because you can, <laughs> like this painting can be even, even more beautiful. But I want to lower the opacity of our sketching layer even more like this because I think it looks wonderful and I will merge together this part and I actually want to merge together all parts already like this. So I will create one more layer on the top and I won't clip it, I will just move to multiply blend in layer mode yeah, like this and I will use boot texture scrub. I just want uh, tiny details, tiny shades. You see, this scrub is amazing because you got this realistic dry effects all around. You might get it here and here, and I tend to go beyond the lines a little bit. So this uh, brush aims to add more texture to your paint and you see it's very very beautiful now. You might also add some textures here and if you don't like something just blend it or erase. You have two options. I want to add some textures here and to this part here. Now I need to grab dry brush and add tiny details. Be careful, yeah.
little bit of details here in this area. Once again, this is so convenient. And you might keep adding those details a lot of times. Okay, that's our lovely pumpkin and it's almost done guys. The final touch is we need to add some shades and I'm gonna use my uh, ink and stamps. So I'll create uh, one more layer underneath. And I will move to dark color, nearly black. And after I will switch and go to ink and watercolor stamps. And now I want to add some shades. Okay, I'm gonna add some stamps like here and as you see some parts we have in some areas we have overlappings so you need to be very careful and just remove the overlappings three fingers down and cut this is the first option what we might do we'll create one more layer and let's think about this background yeah, we might have this stamp like that and create one more and that can be our illustration, our ink illustration. Well guys, you might experiment and add more stamps and play around and make it more beautiful, less beautiful, more saturated, so you have lots of options. Guys, I hope you enjoyed our today's class and you learned something new about painting and watercolor style and you have some ideas for your inktober illustrations. And if you like my class, please subscribe, thumbs up and let's see each other in a new class.